Hey guys and welcome to today's video. This is kind of a different setup but uh, yeah basically I'm kind of looking for a good place in my room to film because I feel like every video, every picture even that I make is just so dark and I don't get, get why. <laughs> I don't get it because I have like this big ass window right there and still everything in my room seems so bloody dark and it is I don't understand. <laughs> so for today's video, I uh, decided to put a poll on Instagram and basically deciding whether you wanted a full face of Nabla or a full face of uh, affordable slash drugstore makeup. And you voted for drugstore makeup, so here I am. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get started. So I wanna start off with primer and the primer that I chose for my drugstore collection is the Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate Primer. I have used this a couple of times and it seems like a very nice drugstore primer. It's quite hydrating and it has a little bit of a coconut smell, uh, but it's not necessarily the most longevitizing makeup foundation you think. So, we're just going to apply this then. Uh, for my makeup collection, I've chosen two foundations and I'm actually going to mix them and they're also from the same brand. The Revolution False Base Stick Foundation. It's basically a, a stick foundation. I can't twist it up anymore because this is the only thing I have left. And this is a very dewy um, and quite full coverage foundation. But it's also currently a little bit too dewy for me so I'm actually going to use, well not dewy but it's actually a bit too greasy but I'm going to combine it with the Revolution Conceal and Define con uh, not concealer but foundation and this is the shade F2 F2 and this is also the shade F2 so I'm going to take my Real Techniques uh, complexion sponge and I'm going to apply Z foundation I'm hoping to empty this quite soon so first the Make it revolution one. So the concealer and the fine one is a lot more matte and also uh, has about the same type of coverage. Uh, but it's a lot more matte. <laughs> but still a quite natural matte. I have a dry skin type and this doesn't dry me out whatsoever. So if you have a dry skin type like me and you find it very difficult to find a matte foundation and you don't always want to use dewy foundations because I totally understand, uh, then you might actually want to try this out and it is very affordable for you. Okay, so I've done my uh, foundation as you can tell. I'm actually quite pleased with the shade match. I don't know why, but the Makeup Revolution, the two concealers, match me quite perfectly. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me blah, 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 Fit Me concealer basically. They uh, look like this. They have been used and abused. And this is the shade 05 and 010. I do want to mention that the shades are horrendous. This is almost too light for me. And this is like orange on me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to swatch them very quickly. So this is 010. Do we see that? And then this is 05. Ridiculous. <laughs> This is such a nice concealer and I really love it for the summertime because it is very lightweight and it has just such a beautiful natural uh, finish basically. It's so natural. It's uh, slightly dewier than my Catrice one but having said that it's also a little bit more difficult to set this concealer. It creases very rapidly. And that's why I prefer my Catrice one a little bit more. 
Okay, so to set this, I'm actually going to use the Catrice Elle Matte, Elle Matte Plus Shine Control Powder. As you guys may be aware, my favourite powder from the drugstore is actually the Essence All About Matte Compact Fixing Compact Powder. I think it's that one. Uh, but that one is being discontinued, so I have to find a different powder. And I have this in my I've had this in my collection for quite a long time. Uh, but I don't like it as much because it's quite mattifying. But I'm going to try it again today to see if I actually uh, like it. I'm going to take my sponge, set it underneath the eyes, and then I'm going to take a brush and just set the entire face. Okay, so the base is done, concealer is done. I do have to mention that the Catrice powder is very mattifying. Um, it doesn't look the greatest on my forehead, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But if you have oily skin, I think you might actually like this. And again, this is only like four bucks or stuff. But yeah, just upon my second impression, <laughs> It's not really my type of powder. Okay, so next up is the, uh, well, is bronzer, basically. So I have the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and this is the one for lighter skin. I haven't used this, so this is a new product. I'm really curious to see what um, this looks like on my skin. It looks like a beautiful bronzer shade, but it has a little bit of a terracotta on the turn, and I'm usually a little bit afraid of that. Uh, because it doesn't look the best on me, but yeah, it, it feels quite creamy and soft um, And it smells really nice. It smells like coconutty tropical kind of things, you know <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna take a brush I'm also gonna use a very affordable brush for this and this is the elf stippling brush I got this because of Alana Rama because uh, this is just the best bronzer brush <laughs> to ever exist. And I'm gonna dip into all these. If I am not mistaken, um, when I purchased this, by the way, this is huge. But when I purchased this, I think it was only like 4 euros. Around that mark. So that is very affordable and you get a lot of product and from, from what I can tell from the formula, it's really good. It's just a color that is not necessarily my cup of tea. So first impressions on this uh, matte bronzing powder, I think it's amazing. Um, it is just, it smells heavenly, the formula seems really nice, it blends out really beautifully and seamlessly. There's no patchiness, it gives a, a lot of warmth to my skin. It's just a little bit too red, yeah, just a little bit too terracotta like for me. But if this seems like your shade, go and get it because I'm really blown away by how it blended and stuff. So I really enjoy that and I would highly recommend you checking this out. Okay, so for the next product, I'm actually also going to uh, be using a Essence product. And it is their Essence Matte Touch Blushes. You might or might not be aware that these blushes are actually amongst my favorites. And that's why I actually wanted to include them in this video. Um, because these are... Packaging isn't the greatest. But the shades, the formula, formula of this is so beautiful. These are matte blushes and it has been quite a while since I've actually used anything kind of matte including this bronzer. I usually use like shimmery glowy bronzers like hourglass and stuff. However, the bronzer blew me away. <laughs> but however, these blushes I use from time to time because they are so stunning and the formula is absolutely beautiful. Um, I have the shades Bury Me Up and Peach Me Up. Um, the one that I am going to use today, however, is the Peach Me Up blush because I feel like this is a blush that will pair well with the look that I have in mind, you know. So I am going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. For the brows, I use my trusty Catrice Eyebrow Set Packaging broke very recently. 
By the way, this is a very nice product, very cool toned, uh, not warm toned, obviously. And you have two shades. I like to mix them because this one is a little bit too dark, even though I hit pen on that one. And then a little bit of this one to kind of lighten it up. Uh, very pigmented, very easy to use. Highly recommend. Very, very cheap. So before I finish the rest of the face, like a uh, highlighter, if I happen to find one, I do want to start with the eyes. And then one of my absolute favorite palettes from the drugstore, or eyeshadow in general, is the Essence Ho 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 palette. This was a limited edition Christmas palette, but this palette is so beautiful. I want to swear, but I feel so uncomfortable to swear. <laughs> Uh, this is such a beautiful palette and it is by far the best makeup eyeshadow palette that I have found in the entire drugstore. The mattes are pigmented, very velvety, blend out beautifully, the shimmers are very... They... But it was a limited edition so I'm not going to use this, but I hope that Essence will bring out a palette like this in the future and it, that it will not be limited edition. But for today's video, I'm gonna use a quite dirty palette <laughs> by the time you're reading this. I've had this for quite a bit. This is the Revolution, well, the Sof X Revolution eyeshadow palette. Uh, I have had this for quite a, a long time. Um, and this is such a good palette. Again, it is very relatable to the Essence palette. The mattes are beautiful, <sighs> they layer well, the shimmers are beautiful. The shimmers are a little bit hard pressed, but yeah, just man, just fucking delicious. Oh, you can see everything <laughs> in front of me. So yeah, this is the palette. Uh, you have like fun colors, warm tone colors, a lot of golds. Uh, the mattes are beautiful, blend really well, layer on top of each other very well. And this is just like every time I feel like doing a drugstore kind of day, um, I grab grab this palette because it's just so beautiful. Speed up this part a little bit and just pinpoint with some music, and yeah, you'll have to watch that like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Before I start, I also want to mention that I am going to use the Elf concealer as a base for the eyes, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> So I'm back after I made this beautiful look with this uh, beautiful palette. This palette only retails for 10 or 11 euros I think, which I personally think is such a bargain for so many eyeshadows and the quality that you get. Um, I actually had to do, uh, had to redo this entire look because the e.l.f. concealer that I used as a base was so incredibly dry that the eyeshadows barely wanted to stick to my eyeballs so I removed the look and did it again basically so this is what I, um, I came out with yeah, I also put this shade right here on my inner corner and my brow bone oh yeah I'm also going to use that same shade as a highlight very quickly so yeah it's a multitasking palette apparently so yeah taking my real techniques 
setting brush because I like to use this as a highlighting brush apparently. It's actually quite a beautiful shade. <laughs> So I have a lot of powders on my face right now, so I just want to use the, the Primo Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray from Catrice. I'm almost out of this one. There's nothing better than this spray to refresh uh, the makeup or to apparently make your highlight very blinding. Um, but it's such a nice spray to refresh your base to get rid, rid of any kind of powder that is too much on your skin uh, cakiness. Man, I love this spray to bits and it's so cheap. It's uh, 3 29 I think, if I am not mistaken. <laughs> so that is the mascara done and basically the entire eye look. So the only thing that I have left is lips. So first of all, I'm going to line my lips with the Catrice Long Lasting Lip Pencil in 020 Macadamia Hay. These are so affordable and the formula is so beautiful. This is a kind of cool tone nude which I personally like and as you can tell this is not really the size of a full size pencil. I've used this quite a bit. So I'm just going to apply this to my lips very quickly. I love this sound. Wait. Oh, yeah. uh, I have two options for lips. I have the Catrice. Pure Pigments Lip Lacquers, these are so, so intense. They claim to be lifestyle proof, which I think is such a, a nice touch, you know, just a nice touch. Uh, I have the shade Salted Caramel, and this one is Rosie's Peony. But I also have a few of the... <laughs> a few of the Wet n Wild, um, what are you? Oh. oh yeah, the Mega Lost lip colors. Uh, these are so affordable. If I am not mistaken, these are one ninety nine or two ninety nine euros per piece. So it's that's why I have so many. These are so beautiful. Such a rich formula. Uh, they're a matte formula, but they're very comfortable. They're a little bit on the thick side, but honestly, these are so beautiful, so affordable. Um, obviously the packaging is not the best, but I don't mind, man, they're so cheap. Uh, I think I'm gonna use In The Flesh, it's just like this beautiful kind of, mm, yeah, pinky, brownish nude. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the Salted Caramel Pure Pigments Lip Lacquer on top. These are so pigmented and they feel creamy. They apply beautifully. Man, just get your hands on this. So now I'm gonna apply a little bit of salted caramel around Catrice. And this is just stunning. Don't be mistaken, the Catrice um, Pure Pigment Slip Lacquers are extremely, extremely pigmented. So that guys concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, uh, comment or subscribe most of all. Uh, I hope you found some drugstore products that are going to become your holy grails. This was uh, the full face of drugstore makeup slash affordable makeup. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave me a comment on what your favorite drugstore product is and I'll see you next time. Bye!